where there is a coherent conscious field held between people. There's the work of creation and in all the practical ways that we create together. Just like for musicians performing, there are all the practical things about staying in time and staying together and staying in tune. But if that's all that music was about, it wouldn't be very exciting. It'd be somewhat mechanical, I imagine. The point of all of that is that the power of love can move through the music, through that coherence. And it's always different. All the essences of love in their unfoldment come through the music, and even the same piece of music is different on a different day. Again, how symbolic of our function as human beings. Our coherence together allows the power of love to move creation. The patterns of creation for us as human beings are actually so essentially simple. We show up as ourselves. We stay coherent inside and with each other and spin the web of connection between us because we're showing up with each other, hearing the call together. And then over that web, there's the power of love that begins to move and creates. It creates in our immediate field and it resonates out into a larger field. Beautifully and wonderfully. We have to gain coherence, you and me, if we're to have any hope of resonating out into that larger field and creating coherence in that larger field. If we're to bring the call of love into that larger field, our immediate field, the immediate field of you and me, has to get clear and coherent. Showing up as ourselves, allowing the higher dimensions of our being to be here and express, to take us over. We get coherent one to another. And we get to participate together in the intimacy of being and the intimacy of creation together. And then, because we've done that in the immediate, with the people right next to us, we have the chance to reverberate with the call of love and the call to coherence into the larger world. It's a little difficult, is it not, to do that if what's between you and the people right around you is incoherent. It's a tremendous requirement for coherence for us to create and bring the power of what we have to bring in the world in the only way that it truly can be brought. And then if you have the other end of that spider th thread, we can hold that and allow the power of creation to be moving in between you and me and with every person in our life.